Hello there and welcome to the June 2019 paper. Here we're looking at question two. So find using algebra all the real solutions to both of these equations. So first one is 16a squared equals 2 root a. Let's first start off by squaring both sides. So 16 squared is 256 a to the power of 4, that's what happens if you square a squared and square the right hand side as well. Square of 2 is 4 and the square of root a is a. So at least we've now got no roots in there. Now don't be tempted to cancel out an a at this point because that will lead you to missing one of your solutions. What you need to do instead is take away your 4a onto the uh, left hand side and leave behind nothing on the right hand side. You can divide by 4 at this point if you wish. That would be 64a4 minus a equals 0. Uh, you'd have to divide by a number. Uh, now we'll factorise out an a. So it's going to be 64a to the power of 4 minus... Sorry, a to the power of 3 minus 1 uh, because we've pulled out a factor of a. So now what we've got is a situation where we've got two expressions that will multiply to make a 0. So either the first expression was 0, or the second expression equals 0. Let's now move the 1 onto the other side and divide by 64. And then cube roots both sides. a is therefore going to equal 1 over 4. Not plus or minus 1 over 4, just 1 over 4, because there's no plus or minus when you're cubing something. Um, it's just 1 over 4. OK, so there we are. That's the answer to part A. Let's now move on to part B. What I'm going to do in part B is I'm going to be a bit sneaky and reduce these powers by setting C equal to B squared. So therefore, if I do C squared, I get B to the power of 4. So I'm going to write B to the power of 4 as C squared plus 7C, because that's what the value of B squared is, minus 18. So I've reduced the powers here. But I'll bring B back in later. The next thing to do would be to factorise c plus 9c minus 2 equals 0. So therefore, either this bracket equals 0, in which case c equals minus 9, or c equals 2 from the second bracket. Now let's bring b back in. So if c was equal to minus 9, then therefore b squared equals minus 9, in which case we get no solutions. Or b squared will equal 2, in which case b is going to equal plus or minus root 2. And there we are. Those are the only two solutions for this equation here. And there we are. That's the answer for question 2. Let's now move on to question 3.